Hello everyone. Today we are concerned with Bunsen burner. Introduction, its parts, how to operate, amazing facts about that, how to know good and bad flames and on the way of ending application of the Bunsen burner to enjoy this clip up to last. Okay, a Bunsen burner named after Robert Bunsen in 1852 is a common piece of laboratory equipment that produces a single open gas flame. This one which is used for heating sterilization and combustion now about its parts it contains base this one is the base gas inlet this one is the gas inlet needle valve or gas flow adjustment this one is the needle valve and final one is rotary barrel this one for air adjustment okay similarly now about operation so bunsen burner flames this one depend on air flow in the throat hole this one on the burner side this one needle bulb for gas flow air hole closed safety flame used for lighting or default air hole slightly open air hole half open and finally air hole fully open so full air open indicates roaring blue flame this type okay temperature amazing fact about bunsen burner is that the hottest part this one this one is the hottest part of the bunsen flame which is heated just above the tip of the primary flame reaches about 1500 degrees celsius or 2700 degree fahrenheit this part is non-illumination flame whereas this one is the hottest region and this one is the inner blue core having this type of high temperature and requiring less space it is also called micro incineration plant that is why it is also included in sterilization as a physical method this type of blue coloration flame is indicator of good flame in simple mixture of yellow color in flame indicator of bad flame so let's know its practical application in microbiology laboratory
at the time of putting anti microbial disk on molar internal guard if force f is contaminated with the microorganism you can sterilize this force f in this way similarly if you are inoculating the specimen or making make fire line concentration or sticking this type of activity sterilizing the loop sterilized by this Bunsen burner So from here we can get the importance of Bunsen burner in our microbiology laboratory. I hope this clip will be helpful. Therefore.